channel notes, if I may. We have a series that we do here on Howard 101, where every once in a while, one of our staff members decides to play music. He plays his favorites, talks about how music influenced him. Uh, Fred did the first one. It was fabulous. And Gary did the act. Gary did one. I, you know, we learned about his jukebox and all kinds of excitement. And uh, J.D. was supposed to go next, except Scott the Engineer started uh, begging Tim Sabian to do the next one. Oh, really? Yeah, I think Scott, the engineer, thinks he's like a bit of a musician and, a, you know, he played the drums when he was a kid. And, yes. And I think he sees himself as like an FM DJ or something. I don't know what he sees himself because he worked at WPLJ years ago. Uh -huh. So anyway, tonight on Howard 101, it'll be Scott, the engineer. Uh, I've heard three clips from it. And I, I dare I say it's completely ridiculous. Let me hear. You're going to play as a preview? Well, first of all, he's he's obviously scripted himself. Like you so he's reading. Yeah, instead of just going, hey, here's a song I really like, which would be kind of interesting. Cool. He's, he's <laughs> prepared a, a document. <laughs> and then he went, and, and by the way, this also shows you he can do production when he wants to, because... He was really excited about oh, this. Oh, he completely, like, produced this thing. And edited it up like like nobody else's special. <laughs> so like it makes me even wonder about him more because it's like, well, why didn't you do this on the other specials? But here he is, Scott the Engineer, a little preview. Jumping ahead a couple of years, I decided I wanted to play the drums. And somehow I convinced, so fascinating. convinced my parents to buy me a set. Which, when I think back, was absolutely crazy because we lived in a small garden apartment. We lived in a small garden apartment. Jumping ahead a couple of years, what are we what are we doing here? Oh, well, we're going through his whole history of music. He's giving you his. He's yeah. doing the like chronology. a life of yes. Scott through music. Scott through music. Uh, now jumping ahead <laughs> in my saga, <laughs> my parents decided that I could get a drum set. How about we jump ahead sixty years so we're done with this special? <laughs> Because we lived in a garden apartment. Is he the biggest bore on the planet or what? He really is. I love him, but he is a bore. <laughs> Let's start again. Let's bore ourselves to Jumping death. Jumping ahead a couple of years, I decided I wanted to play the drums. And somehow I convinced my parents to buy me a set. Which, when I think back, was absolutely crazy because we lived in a small garden apartment on the second floor. And the only place I could play them was in the middle of the living room. It must have driven them and the neighbors nuts, but they put up with it. So at age 14, I started my first band with some of my friends I grew up with. And one of the first songs we learned was Gloria. Oh, it's just, it's ridiculous. That's not the idea of the special. I just want the guys on there playing their favorite tune. This is music I like that means something <laughs> right. to me, is the right. idea of the special. Right. You scripted this thing. You say, it's, it, you're doing it like um, one of those rock specials from, from the 80s. What? Yeah, it's, a, it's supposed to be stories about your, your the music yeah, but you just like. Just get so, on there. Go, hey, you know, hey, this is Scott the engineer. First of all, I didn't beg Tim Sabian. I asked. I heard. Uh, I asked. That's all. Once. Okay. Can I do can I do playlists? Second of all, I didn't produce the other ones. Who did? Uh, Steve Brandano. Well, he should have produced this one. Okay. You're well, overly produced here. Well, all right. Well, that, that's fine. Um, if you, I like the, I like when you talk. Hey, you know. Uh, I needed to write it down because it, I didn't like the way it sounded when well, I was... Well, of course you didn't. What you, did, what, you didn't like the way it sounded when? When? When didn't you like the way it sounded? Well, I, I did some takes and, you know, trying to just be off the cuff, <laughs> and I didn't like it, so... Because it sounded like you. Yeah, I guess. See, yeah. you shouldn't have been the judge. Well, no, I gave it to them yeah. for their approval, to Tim and to Steve, uh -huh. and then what well, they, they did with it after... I said, here, here it is. You do what you want with it. This is what I did. If they could have just said, do it over. We don't nah, like it. They sh you should do it over. Well. I mean, this is so ridiculous. Now back to the greatest special ever made. <laughs> Welcome back to Playlist. I'm Scott the Engineer. I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, but we didn't last very long, and I moved on to another band. And by the way, you know what else is annoying service. me? I've never seen you care this much about anything. I care about everything I do. Yeah, but no, you're way more caring about this. Like, you're, this is your masterpiece. I've already told you about my first band. You know, I told you about my first band. <laughs> I told you about my living room and my first band. I say no one will listen to this. Well, that's, I mean... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because it's not you, Scott. It's just stories about the music that... Yeah, you get on uh, well, there. Here's a story, I'll tell you. You know what? You're not going to believe this one about Black Sabbath. Uh, what do you... And now I will tell you... I had you, a band. Uh, can you believe my parents wanted me to play the drums in their living room. 
<laughs> I mean, that's not you. We know you. You're not fooling anybody. The first song we learned was Gloria. G L O R I A. <laughs> Shout it out loud. I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, <laughs> but we didn't last very long, and I moved on to another band. No. And believe it or not, we called ourselves Black Sabbath. Uh -huh. That's right. I'm not kidding. I'm and then a few kidding. months later, we find out there's a band from England called Black, Black Sabbath. Sabbath. Well, I think they became a little more popular than us. Did you ever realize that? One he of the had guys, the same name. One of the guys in your band heard of Black Sabbath and then well, just ripped no, off they, the name. They, he said. Do you no. think that was a? Co he said no. What you're no? You're never going to be a detective. He didn't I was come, eighteen friend, years old. Your friend didn't 17. come up with Black right. Sabbath. He said he, he heard did. of Black Sabbath and said, "Fuck it, no one's ever heard of this band. We'll be Black Sabbath." Did you know my father's name was originally Elvis Presley, and then he found <laughs> out there was an Elvis Presley? How'd you find out? <laughs> so here's the group that stole my band's name. This is The Wizard by the second Black Sabbath. Wow. Who stole? Stole my band's name? Stole. What? Say it again. Stole my band's name. Bad English. A bad English. It's atrocious. Good. <laughs> Here is the band that stole my name. They confiscated it. <laughs> yeah. And you wrote this out, no less. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? See, you'd have been better off just talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, he wrote down the band that stole my name. <laughs> they stole your name. Stole. S stole. Not stole. I probably you don't wrote, put a D on I the end I probably wrote that. stole and... Yeah, yeah, right. Probably somebody screwed you up. Then we formed a band named The Beatles after Black Sabbath, and then they stole that, too. <laughs> and then we became Amazing. Led Zeppelin, and two weeks later, well, you get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Scott that we want is the one that, you know, would introduce Hands Up. Uh, they, you they, got you know. plenty of that. Instead, we got you to. And now, Black Sabbath, the band that stole my name. <laughs> this is crazy. You know what? Maybe I will listen to this. <laughs> I'm having a good time. See? <laughs> it's entertaining in some way. Welcome back to Playlist. Oh. I'm Scott the Engineer. Oh. The 60s was a very turbulent period in American history. Oh, the civil my God. Rights Who wrote that? Was... Uh, when do you use the word turbulent? I wrote it. Well, I'm, I'm describing you what... Wrote, you copied this I off... I didn't copy it out from it. anything. Th the 60s was a turbulent period? It wasn't. No, it is, <laughs> but, uh, but you don't talk that way. Well... Uh, the I 60s wrote it. was I wrote a it all. supercalifragilisticexpialidocious period <laughs> in my life. <laughs> wow. The 60s were turbulent. <laughs> Do you believe this? All right. The 60s was fucked up. What do, I mean, what I mean do you this is the same guy say? who said stole in the last yeah, thing. Yeah, stole. The civil rights movement was going strong, and the country got involved in what most people thought. And I was sitting in my parents' house. Uh, doing nothing. Playing drums, annoying the neighbors. Thought was a senseless war, which led up to huge protests at the 1968... What is this, a history lesson? Yes. 68 Democratic National Convention. Uh, which I wasn't the a part of. The whole watching. The whole world is watching. TV, watching. like everyone else. Like everyone else, I sat in my living room and did nothing about the war. Watching my hair fall out. Someone asked me to protest, but I was busy. What are we leading up to here? Uh, we're getting to bowling. a very dramatic moment. <laughs> bowling. <laughs> Let's cut to bowling. the chase. Let's get the bowling. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what song this is going to. Uh, a teenager who was approaching my 18th birthday. Hmm, I could have ended up a more. Can you imagine the world without Scott the Engineer? My number was coming up. <laughs> Me, bald, covered in napalm. <laughs> do you do anything about the moon landing? Do, do we get to that at some point? No, there was no moon songs. Mm -hmm. Meant I would probably be drafted into the army. What a loss. Which was something I really didn't want to do. There were many protest songs at the time, but after hearing this on the radio, I thought it really captured how I and a lot of other people were feeling. The group was... Any Earth hair loss songs? Also at 18, my hair was starting to fall out of my head. <laughs> Here's a song called Hair. <laughs> and how I don't have any. <laughs> Hair, not. Hair, not. Hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and the song is The Great American Eagle Tragedy. Ooh. The Great American Eagle Tragedy. Who does that? Earth Opera. 
Oh, oh, this he's is so a, obscure. Oh, and look at the look at the big smile on his face, yes. Robin. It was played a lot. It was, I listened, I'm going to play Great listen, American Eagle Tragedy, Earth Opera. I listened to FM hey. music on NEW in New York. It was played a lot. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to say. Right. Not about, it was a turbulent period in our history. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking history lesson. Say, you know what, man? I used to listen to NEW radio, and I used to hear this song a lot. You know, and it came out right about the time I, you know, my draft number was whatever, and you know, I real was stuff. shitting a brick, <laughs> literally a giant brick. Here's a picture Came of it. Out of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> right after they stole my identity. <laughs> 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 Only Scott could fuck up playing music. This is the worst of Scott. I don't believe this. Okay. You don't well. say turbulent. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What, does every show around here have to be run by me? Huh? This is going to be... What time is this on tonight? Seven. All right, I'm making an appointment. Gary, Absolutely. email yeah, I me. I remember that. I'm going to set an alarm. I'm not missing this. How long does it go on for? It's an hour. An hour? Yeah. Be the longest hour of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a CD in your bag. What is that song, Scott? The Great American Eagle Tragedy? Yeah. Do I know that song? Fred, play that song. We don't have it here. Oh, it's so obscure. That's what I'm saying. Who's so now obscure. giving you music no one is, knows? Right. Tonight, not only won't people... Well, that's the idea. That's, yeah. that's what mean, I'm uh, supposed to do. I know what the idea is. That wasn't it. That was, uh, uh, well, you know, Robin, no one's going to want to hear me, and then I'm going to play a song no one wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get everyone off the channels. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. I'm running everyone away. This is Scott bragging that he knows a very obscure song. That's no, right. Not at all. He's oh, yeah. a real musician. I'm a musicologist, not like Fred, a wannabe poser. I, 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 <laughs> everybody was waiting for, we thought the song for sure was going to be like Ohio, right. what right. it's worth. No, 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 no. That would be you. That's too predictable. <laughs> I got to hear this song. Come on, is it there? Uh, Gary, it's we're talking there. about a very yeah. turbulent time in our history. Excuse me, it's a ten... <laughs> It's a 10 minute song. Hmm. This song spoke to me. This special just reminds me why I never want to talk to Scott. <laughs> <laughs> this song spoke to Scott, and you don't want to talk to him. I was actually thinking of hanging around with Scott, but this special <laughs> reminded me not to. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you the time my band was called Black Sabbath? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to dinner and discuss it. The story was annoying then, and it's annoying now. Uh, which would you rather hear about? When my parents got me my first drum kit, which my was very band. surprising because we lived in an apartment. Or would you rather hear about the Great American Eagle tragedy? <laughs> <laughs> What's the band? Earth Harp? Earth, Earth Opera. Opera. Earth Opera. What oh. else did they do, Scott? No, Nothing, really. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't they didn't play that. This. <laughs> now I'd like to talk to you about a song I really love. It's... A Czechoslovakian song, <laughs> so you've never heard of it. It was only played in one village, and they only played it once, in reverse. Right after they chased Frankenstein out of the village, they played this in celebration. The villagers were very angry. It was a turbulent time in the village. Yes, in fact, Frankenstein had stole one of the children from the village. <laughs> and the villagers were enraged. <laughs> oh, there's another word. Hey, Frankenstein. <laughs> and here it is, Czechoslovakian Frankenstein music. Uh, for your listening five. Five. Yes. The times they were a changing. <laughs> yes, my hair was thinning and the music scene was rapidly becoming cooler and cooler. <laughs> At this point I had about five strands. That <laughs> 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 I wrapped around my head. The whole special should have been like in relation to how many hairs he had on his head. <laughs> Crosby, Stills, and Nash had long, luxurious hair, and I had the opposite. I was down to 200. <laughs> 200 hairs, like a thread count. <laughs> I told everybody I was a Mohegan. <laughs> but they weren't buying it. <laughs> Women were rejecting me left and right. <laughs> I even did a war dance. My first wife left me right about now. <laughs> my ego was destroyed. No hair, no house, no wife. She took no my wife. hair and my earth opera. <laughs> <laughs> She took everything but my hair. <laughs> oh, my God. What a special. Well, I can't wait it to hear special. it. It is special. It is special. You're right. <laughs> I'll give you that. But we can't wait for it. Good. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. You're welcome. Yeah. Is there another song, at least? I think Scott had visions that was going to lead to him like doing voiceover for some music specials. Right, yeah. No this vision. is a show Nothing. he's planning to do in the future. The year was 1972. 
Munich. Athletes were being slaughtered. Here's Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let's groove. <laughs> They're gone. They're all gone. No, it's got to be somebody you've never heard of. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> it was maddening. At this point, I was up to three packs a day and had one strand of hair. <laughs> I was a real mess. E. Here's, here's, here's my time has come today. <laughs> <laughs> the, band was ins- the band was inspired when they heard my coughing on the street one day. That's right. It was right around the release of Joshua Tree that my soul died. (laughs) (laughs) Feeling alone in the world. No hair. No love. (laughs) Bad luck. My final hair had fallen out of my head. Hard luck and trouble, my only friend. (laughs) I've been down ever since I was ten. Here's Bono. Under a bad sign. (laughs) Here's Cream, born under a bad sign. If it wasn't for bad luck, (laughs) I wouldn't have no luck at all. (laughs) Could have been a great special. No, instead we got this. Welcome back to Playlist. I'm Scott the Engineer. I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, but we didn't last very what long, a and I moved on to... I've already told you about... Mm-hmm. Up-tempo, Scott. Happy, Aren't Scott. are you people paying attention? Where are we in my life story? Let's jump ahead a few years. Yeah, no surprises here. Hey. Oh, can't wait for the special. Where are you going to be during the special, Robin? I'm going to be uh, sitting by Hiding. the fireplace. <laughs> it's going to be one listening intently. It's going to be one of those specials where people go, "Where were you when you first heard the Scott the Engineer <laughs> music special?" <laughs> well, uh, thank you for putting that together. I do appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm sure we'll have a few good uh, I times. I think I'll have that. dinner with yeah, Scott. I'll give you plenty yeah. of. Uh Material. Yeah, but a lot of people are going to be doing that. They're going to be having dinner parties around Scott's uh, special. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, to end the show, what do you end the show with? Really want me to give it away? Oh, maybe you don't. Uh, hey, all right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, leave us with right. a there's, cliffhanger. There's so much more that. I will tell you the group I end it with. Okay. You probably never heard of them. Go ahead. Probably the, never heard of any so. of this music, right? Right. The Vagrants. Of course I heard the Vagrants. Oh, of course Leslie everybody's West. heard of the Vagrants. Oh, you're making a joke. No, no, it's the Vagrants. <laughs> no, I didn't... Who they, hasn't heard of the Vagrants? A lot of people haven't heard of the Vagrants. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. I mean, they're no Great American Eagle tragedy, but... No. I mean, they were... <laughs> the Vagrants were Leslie West's first band. Yeah. What was their hit song? Respect was actually their the cover of Respect. Right. Which I get none. But you're not playing that. I didn't play that one. No, of course not. I, I that might have actually interested some people. <laughs> I played yeah. And When It's Over. I see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Get it? Get it? And, because and the show is over. And, you're right. Special. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think that will not be lost on anyone. <laughs> it will be a turbulent moment. On what is this? Scott plays the full 11-minute version of the Great American Eagle tragedy no. in the special. Of course, because this was a very important. Ten minutes. Yeah. Not 11. Uh, it'll enjoy it. You Actually, take I a shit there. I cut it. a little off in the beginning. It's about nine. Minutes. Yeah, I, I cut it down a little to keep it people. It spoke to me and everyone. Maybe one person will stay tuned and we'll see if we can get rid of everybody during that song. This is a song nobody knows, but Scott mm. says it it summed up what he was feeling and a lot of other people too. And yeah, it's I eleven think? minutes long. It summed up for no one because <laughs> okay. nobody cared about it. Good. All right, thank you, Scott. You're welcome. All right, there he is, Scott the engineer. If you're wondering what he's been up to, uh, now you know. Just be- is as bad as can He knows he's the best Cause his Pedro is as bad as can He knows he's the best